This episode of Taz I Help is brought to you by Tokyo Flash Japan. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing my review of the iPad Mini. So let's go ahead and jump right into the review. I'm actually using my iPad mini to look at the notes that I've taken on this. Uh, just a little fun fact, I use my iPad mini uh, since I've got it for pretty much every video that I've filmed uh, to look at the notes while I'm filming it. So the iPad mini comes in two different colors. You can get a black slash slate model uh, or the white slash silver model. The iPad mini has a 7.9 inch screen which isn't a retina display, uh, but it does have a resolution of 1024 by 768 with 163 pixels per inch. The iPad mini obviously being the smaller version of the iPad has a different size uh, which is 7.87 inches by 5.3 inches and a thickness of 7.2 millimeters. And the iPad mini only weighs 1 69th of a pound. <laughs> I'm pretty much in love with the new design and size of the iPad mini. It is the perfect size. I can hold it in one hand. I can type on it good. Uh, if I'm using it as a keyboard in landscape, it works perfectly. Uh, it just fits in my hand. It's smaller. It's super thin, super lightweight. I carry this thing everywhere with me. <laughs> I don't mind carrying it around just as much as I do my iPhone. Uh, I've been really taking this everywhere with me uh, and I absolutely love it. It makes the iPad uh, 3 or iPad 4, I feel like it's just huge, clunky, and big uh, once you use this and hold it in your hand. It just makes it feel like it's old technology, even though uh, it just came out to the iPad 4. I pretty much carry this iPad mini everywhere with me. Not as much as I do my phone, but very close. Like when I drive out in the car, if I'm going somewhere, this definitely goes with me in the car. I just may not bring it in uh, to wherever I'm going. Now, as far as the display on the iPad mini, as I said before, it's not a retina display, but it does still look great. Even though I've been using and I'm used to a retina display on my iPhone, my iPod, and even my iPad, it didn't really bother me that much to switch to a non-retina display. If you are one of those people that will notice a difference between the retina display and the non-retina display, and that's really gonna bother you that much, uh, wait a year and the new iPad mini uh, that's gonna come out next year will probably have a retina display. Display. If you put an iPad mini right beside another device with a retina display, uh, obviously you're going to be able to tell a difference, but for me, uh, if I just switch from one to the other and I don't look at them right beside each other, I can't really tell that much and it doesn't bother me. So as far as the screen, still looks good to me. Now the cameras on the iPad mini are pretty much the same cameras that we've seen in all other Apple devices, so I don't really see the need to cover in detail. Uh, but of course the front facing camera is now 720p HD and takes 1.2 megapixel images and the back camera is a 5 megapixel camera. I would choose 1080p HD video. As you probably already know, both cameras take great pictures and both do great video. So Good job on the cameras. One thing I will say is that taking a picture with the iPad mini is a lot less awkward looking uh, than it is with the bigger iPad. Now as far as what's in the iPad mini, it's running Apple's A5 dual core processor, uh, which is the same processor that was in the iPad 2. Now of course it doesn't have the fastest, latest A6X processor that you'll find in the iPad 4, uh, but it is fast and if you think about it, it doesn't have to power a retina display. Uh, plus if you compare it to the iPad 4, it's a smaller screen, uh, so it's powering a lot less. Uh, now for me, uh, if you compare it to like the iPhone or the iPad 3, uh, it's not much faster. I've seen comparisons to the iPad 4 and again, it's still not much faster uh, than it. If you put it right beside each other, apps and stuff are going to load faster, games will load up faster. Obviously they will look better because it is a retina display, uh, but as far as just overall running of the iPad, uh, it works just fine. I haven't had any problems, it's not slow, it's not laggy, uh, it's pretty much just as fast when I first bought it, or as when I first bought it. But I will say, once developers put out some more powerful games uh, for the A A6X chip, uh, the iPad mini may not run them as well, obviously, as the iPad 4 would. As far as battery life, Apple says you'll get 10 hours if you're browsing the web on Wi-Fi, watching videos, or listening to music. And if you're browsing the web using your cellular data, uh, it should last about nine hours. The battery life on the iPad mini, for me, has been great. I haven't really had any problems with it or anything like that. I can go about three days without having to charge it. Uh, and I don't use my iPad mini every day or all day long, uh, but I'll go like and use it sometimes during the day. Most of the time, I use my phone uh, but I do use this a lot and it lasts plenty of time for me uh, and it, then it charges quickly so shouldn't have any problems as far as battery life. Now let's talk pricing. The iPad mini starts off at a base price of $329 for the 16 gigabyte model, $429 for the 32 gigabyte, and $529 for the 64 gigabyte. And then if you want the LTE model it just adds an extra $130 bucks, uh, to whichever gigabyte size you want to get. I just got the baseline Wi-Fi model uh, so mine costs $330. Bucks. It doesn't have LTE. I would love to have LTE on it but I have it on my iPad 3. 
Uh, so I haven't really felt the need to get on this, but I probably may be selling my iPad 3 uh, just so I can get the new LTE iPad mini uh, and get data on it because it's super fast and it's amazing. Now before we wrap up the video and hear my final thoughts on the iPad mini, let's take one last look at our sponsor. Tokyo Flash watches are more than just watches. They are a work of art. They've been praised by companies like Apple, Puma, Google, and many more. Today we have the Kisai RPM Acetate LED watch, which is perfect for reading at night with our light up animation feature and USB charging capabilities. Not to mention that each part of this watch has been carefully hand cut, machine, and individually polished before assembly. The reason I like this watch is because it doesn't look like your average watch. It actually looks cool. It's white, uh, it's got light up blue colors, uh, which kind of make it look like Tron. Uh, I just think it's a cool looking watch and it looks different. That's why I like it. If you wanna get your hands on this watch, Tokyo Flash is going to hook you up. So if you wanna check it out, go to tokyoflash.com slash underscore tie. Remember to add that underscore, don't forget that. So the question is, should you get the iPad mini? Yes. In my opinion, best tablet out on the market. It may not be the most spec'd out, it may not be the fastest, obviously the iPad 4 is faster and better than it, uh, but it's the size and it's the screen and it's just everything all in one that makes this iPad so special. I, I know it sounds stupid, it's a, just a smaller version of the iPad and a little bit bigger version of the iPod Touch, but that extra screen real estate, I uh, added to it and then also took away from it if you compare it to the old iPad uh, or the bigger iPad, it just makes for a perfect size. I love it. If you haven't held the iPad mini, you probably won't realize just how lightweight it is and just how well it's built. It just feels like a really good built device. Uh, super good design. I really love design on it. My favorite is the black model. Uh, also, the silver and white model looks good. I had that one, gave it away. Uh, and yeah, I just the design, size, everything on it is just perfect. And not only that, but it's also a good price point if you want an iPad. Notice I didn't say for a tablet because it is kind of expensive, uh, but they got to add the Apple tax on there because it's Apple. Uh, but for $300, 30 bucks, this is definitely a good device. If you're trying to decide which iPad you want, uh, whether it's the iPad mini, the iPad 4, iPad 2, or even in some places online other than Apple, the iPad 3, now I would say go with this one. You can get the iPad 2 for cheap now, uh, but the iPad 4 is going to start out at 500 bucks. Uh, this one's going to be a smaller one. It's just get the iPad mini over the iPad 2 or iPad 4. Trust me. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about the iPad mini. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please be sure to click the like button down below. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. And then also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos, reviews, and stuff like this on lots of tech stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, in case you missed it, I'm doing a big Christmas giveaway. You can go ahead and click the video right there, uh, or I'll put a link in the description to my Christmas giveaway. You can check that out. Giving away lots of stuff, so go over there uh, and get a chance to win uh, some awesome tech products. It's the holiday season again, and I'm in a giving mood. Uh, normally, I try to do a big giveaway for Christmas, but rather than giving away like one or two big things this year, I figured I would pick a few things around my room and give away a lot of little different prizes.